Lola from Lolly's Printables. I'm here today to show you how to add photos to your templates. So when you go in, you click your templates uh, tab. There'll be generally two options which you can choose from for sizing. All the A sizes will be for Australian, New Zealand or UK based customers. All the sizes in inches will be for North American based customers. Please be sure to choose the one that's relevant to your region or else you will struggle to find a print shop that, that can print them. I'm going to be choosing A6 today as I'm based in Australia. So in here you'll have a little box that will also explain exactly what we're going through in the video. You will be able to delete this later on. So first you want to add your images. I've already put my images in here but you would simply pick up your image and drag and drop. This will then upload it and you'll be able to use it. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this photo today. I'll just click the photo. You'll notice because it's quite a high resolution file, it's a lot larger than the space that we have to work with. You simply find the corner and you drag it down. You may need to do this a couple of times just to get it down to the size you want. Don't worry about it not fitting within the box perfectly because we're going to send it to the back and any extra that we want trimmed from it will be removed. Okay, I'm just going to make it a little bit tinier. There we go. All right. So I will just place it over here. Now, once the photo is selected, we want to click this little arrow here, which is center back. This then puts our photo within the box. As we've now used all the details that we need from here, we can remove this text. Just select it and select the trash can. We can now move the little image around in here. If you wanted to make it smaller still, you can. If you wanted to make it bigger, you can as well. And just drag and move it around. So now our photo is in there. If we want to edit the text, we would be just simply selecting and writing. You can move everything around if you need to. If you want to change the color, you just select your text box, click on the color box up here and choose a color. You can also change your font if you like. We have about a hundred different options available. Go, go mad, do what you want. It's your template. You can make it as perfect as you want in any way you like. Now, with downloading the file, you'll be able to save in your one when you've done it, but I'm currently in the demo mode, so I'm unable to save it. But I will show you how to do this. You just click download. You've got two options that you will use here. We won't be using PNG because you are printing this file. If you are planning to send the file digitally, choose a JPEG. If you're also wishing to print it at a photo lab, such as Shutterfly, Walgreens, Costco, um, Kmart or Big W, choose a JPEG. With a JPEG, you'll be able to also choose to have a bleed added. This will be a 0.25 of an inch um, extra bleed around the edge, which will mean that when you print it, you won't have a white gap. The artwork will extend, it'll print directly to the edges. Um, I prefer to print as a PDF as PDF is the print industry standard for high resolution printing. I always find the the print style uh, the print quality is a lot better. This option here in template will give you a couple of other options. So say for instance you want to print it at home or you're wanting to print a couple of them on a page. Choose for the trim marks so you know where to put the, where it'll add crop marks so you'll know where to cut it. You would also choose save paper if you're wanting to couple on a page. As I'm in Australia, I'll choose A4. What will happen is it will then layer a few of the invitations onto a page. So I'll get multiple on a page. And now you would just click download and you're ready to go. Um, thank you very much. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via Etsy.